The Conversationalist by Wallace Kirkman, age 50. <sighs> I wish I was better at the whole non-attachment thing. My mother and I have been unattached for well over 40 years now. Obviously, we've been unattached since they cut my umbilical cord, but it's been much harder to connect with her since she actually died. The best advice for grief I've heard is to just keep the conversation going. So I keep talking to her. I was napping. I was wearing this thing on my head. It's a... Uh, uh, it's called an ostrich napping pillow. Ostrich. A bird that cannot fly. Sort of like a... <sighs> Just keep the conversation going. When I was a kid and sick, my mom would send a note to school to excuse my absence. Now, the school emails telling us to keep our kids at home so they don't get sick. Mom would be crazy about her grandchildren <sighs> and her daughter-in-law. And I, I wonder if she'd be crazy about me. And I'm not the, <laughs> the easiest of men. Yeah, I've been self-isolating and social distancing and stockpiling uh, since the day she died. And she also taught me how to wash my hands. Anyhow, uh, the pillow. There I was dozing on the couch, wearing this ostrich pillow thing on my head, dreaming about a, a, a Zen master, talking about non-attachment to his girlfriend who, who was about to dump him. Uh, when I felt something tickling my foot on the couch, uh, which woke me up, I reached down and I found this almanac from 1969. I looked inside and there was mom's name written in her handwriting. We had the same uh, zodiac, so I looked it up. Libra <clears throat> are symbols. Air, big fan of air, always have been, I enjoy breathing it. Uh, marriage, sexy, dangerous, love it. Uh, evening, works for me because I stay awake at night. I'm on watch until the sun comes up and it feels like my shift is over. But then at the end of the list of symbols, there's one specifically for Libra women, weariness. Did she read that? Did it resonate? Did she put the copy down thinking one day, many years from now, this almanac will wake my son up from a nap he's been taking because the world has made him weary too. And he'll finally understand what I was feeling for a moment. He'll try to keep the moment going, but it'll already be gone because moments pass. By definition, There are even moments when grief passes. No. Not passes, pauses. 
Grief pauses. I sometimes catch myself just not thinking about her at all. And I think, wait, was that moment just then uh, non-attachment? And then at an instant she's back. She's returned. She's all ears. So I keep talking to her. <laughs>